everyone, welcome back. Welcome, if you're new here, my name is Rebecca and this is Kim Chi, my mother-in-law's new puppy. He's a miniature pincher and a little over three months old, almost four pounds. He is so cute and adorable and we are so in love with him. But anyway, oh, oh my goodness, he wants to go play. Okay, you wanna go play? I know you want to go play. You have so much energy. He just got up from a nap. Thought I would introduce him to you guys really quickly. Anyway, today's video, I have some Valentine's Day gift basket ideas to share with you. These are also going to be perfect for Christmas gift baskets or any kind of birthday gift idea. Um, Mother's Day and Father's Day are also coming up. So you could use these even for an Easter basket, but just some really fun gift basket ideas. I hope you guys will enjoy. And also a huge thank you to Skillshare, the online learning community for sponsoring today's video. And let's go ahead and get started. Should we get started? So for the first basket, I'm going to take one of these little gray baskets from Dollar Tree. I think these are really pretty and they do have them in different colors. You could definitely add some paper shred in here for some filler. I'm using some of this pink, red, and white glittery styrofoam uh, vase filler for a little bit of filler for my basket. Now, I thought this would be like a really fun pamper spa basket for her. I think this basket is so fun. I absolutely love everything in here and I will let you guys know where everything is from. I'm going to link everything that I can down below in the description box and you can always check my Amazon storefront as well. For the first thing, I added in some of these beautiful makeup brushes. I found these in TJ Maxx. I've also got some really great makeup sponges. So these are kind of comparable to like a beauty blender sponge. They are super affordable they're really a nice perfect size and great texture and these are such a good deal with high high reviews i'm also going to add a nail file from dollar tree into the basket along with some of the dollar tree stationery journal sticky pad notepad these were really cute and i just love the pink and purple they have a little splash of blue on here these are really pretty so i'm going to add some of those in you could add your favorite pen or highlighters or anything like that if you think the person is into me Maybe, you know journaling or planner stickers and then this little fun soapy loofah sponge I wanted to give you guys a quick close-up of this one it's a natural loofah soap bar and it smells so good I picked up these fuzzy socks in Dollar Tree and I thought the colors are gonna be perfect for this kind of girls um, women ladies basket for her like a gift basket pamper basket for her so i'm going to just remove the tags so that i can roll these up really nice and add them into the basket now i also love this beauty by earth brand they have a natural self tanner which is so good and i decided to go ahead and add the facial scrub for my daughter in here as well so these products are really nice i'm going to go ahead and have this one linked below as well as a bath bomb i thought this one looked so fun and again it fits our pink color theme but this is like a birthday cake sprinkles bath bomb so this is really fun you could always add some lotion i've got the twisted peppermint one here this is from bath and body works it's actually from christmas time but hey the colors fit perfectly and the smell is so delish now this is a like a little face scrubby to help kind of cleanse your face and get rid of any dead skin and just help make your face more glowing and luminous and just get your skin extra clean and healthy and you can actually it has like a little spot you can add some of your facial scrubs onto here for just kind of massage cleaning cleansing your skin so this little guy is really cute it's like a squishy little facial scrubber I think my daughter is going to love this one I'm also gonna go ahead and add in some face sheet masks I thought these would be so perfect for adding in now I found a whole big set of these that are really highly rated over on Amazon I love sheet masks and these are actually Korean skincare so super highly rated and they came in a large pack so you could divide them up into different gift baskets for different people you could give some to someone and so keep some for yourself i think there were like 16 in the set maybe so this is another just really great gift idea by itself for someone who's really into skincare kylie was shopping with me while we were in dollar tree and we found these little heart elastics for your hair so these are really cute i wanted to show you guys them because for just a dollar i think they're the perfect little thing to add in as well now last but not least you could easily add in some 
um, fake flowers. Dollar Tree has lots of little hearts or florals that you could cut to add in here just to really spruce up your basket and just give it all that extra little jazz. Go ahead and you can tie this up with some clear cellophane wrap and this basket looks amazing. I'm just showing it to you guys unwrapped because once it's wrapped it's going to be really hard to see everything that's in it. But later on I'll show you some like already finished and wrapped. I also want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community for curious and creative people who want to learn new skills, pursue their passions, or just get lost in creativity. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes to fit both your skill level and your schedule. Everything ranging from photography to video, film, home decor, um, interior design. There are classes for whatever it is that you might be interested on there. So I've recently been taking Rose Stanick's interior design class called Called interior decorate like a boss she does have a workbook that you can go follow along and use as well and she just takes you through and walks you through step by step how to decorate your space like a pro like a boss what you need to consider she asks all the right questions to take you through for what you need in order to make the most out of your space and I know we love doing that here on this channel decorating our homes just to make some simple changes that are gonna really make a big change in a feel for our space without without costing too much so so much to learn on Skillshare. I'm taking lots of interior design classes on there. Their classes are all curated specifically for learning, so there are no ads. And they're always launching new premium classes so that you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity leads. It is also less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. And the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link in my description will get a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Let's move on to the next one. Now for this one, I'm actually just starting with a very simple plastic red bowl from Dollar Tree. And I wanted this one to be more of like a, maybe like a couple's gift basket or like a morning gift basket, brunch gift basket thing, or even you could make this like a family gift basket. So I'm going to do kind of a brunch theme here with this little mini heart shaped waffle maker. Of course, I think the little heart shaped one is so cute and perfect for Valentine's Day. And instead of paper, shred in here. I found a lot of really cute options for tissue paper at Dollar Tree. You can add pancake or waffle mix and I thought that my mom would actually really like this ancient grain one. Now I found these also in Target. I'm gonna have links again for the waffle maker and these adorable Valentine's Day mugs as well down in the description box down below. Now since this is kind of a kitchen brunch, you know, morning brunch themed gift basket. I'm going to go ahead and add a kitchen towel in as well. I think it fits really well with the heart theme and would be perfect for Valentine's Day. I thought about adding some chocolates in here, but they weren't really fitting how I wanted. So I decided to leave those out, but I am going to go ahead and add in some maple syrup. Now, unfortunately, I want to pick up a maple leaf shaped bottle because I do have a maple leaf one but it's actually almost empty so I wanted to show you guys this anyway with a full one so I'm just gonna go ahead and just show it to you with the little gingerbread man this little bunch of white glittery heart rose things from Dollar Tree I think these are really cute and I like that they actually have that little greenery on them I think the green adds a really nice splash of life into the middle of the basket and really completes the look Now moving on, the next one is just a really fun, kind of like a pink themed basket. So this one is more of like a color theme, but you could really add anything that you want in here. I picked up this cinnamon bun popcorn in TJ Maxx. It looked really fun as well as these little birthday cake cookie hunks. These are so good, you guys. They are vegan, they are gluten-free, and I don't know, they're just delicious. The kids love them, I love them. I also picked up some socks in Dollar Tree. Again, just those little fuzzy heart-shaped designs on here, perfect for Valentine's Day. And these were so, so soft, really nice. Um, now, in the basket, you probably wanna use something like some paper shred or tissue paper in the bottom. This basket's also from Dollar Tree but actually I decided to give it a try using some of the pieces of ribbon. I had a lot of ribbon left from Christmas trees that were already cut into pieces so I decided to just kind of roll them and kind of pile them all into the basket so I have all these layers of curly sparkly ribbon 
as my base for my basket. I'm just trying to be creative and use some things that I already have left around the house. And I also picked up some chocolate hearts. I got these in TJ Maxx as well. And then these little strawberry cookies. I believe these actually happen to be vegan. Um, my husband likes them. I do not like them, but you know, he loves these. So I guess it just depends on who you're giving it to. But I thought that the color worked really well with this. Mike likes to dunk them in coffee. So I don't know. Let me know. Do you guys like these kind of strawberry wafer cookies? The color was perfect. So I'm going to stick a few of these in here. And this is just a really fun, affordable gift basket. And I'm going to pop those little pink hearts in here. These came in a little, I think it was like a six pack or an eight pack in Dollar Tree in this way. I've got some just extra little sparkle and hearts in this basket. It looks so cute and adorable. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Now for the next one, this basket is actually going to be quite large and full of so many fun goodies that I picked up. So I could not find a basket large enough for this one. So you know what? I am going to get creative. I had some wrapping paper on hand and a large Amazon box. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap the box and I tuck the sides in to kind of make it extra sturdy and I'm just going to wrap this box with wrapping paper and the basket is going to look really good when it's done now if you wanted to completely wrap all the way down the inside or fill the whole inside with like tissue paper or paper shred by all means go ahead and do that dollar tree has so many options with like tissue paper and paper shred now the first thing that i have to add in here is this really soft plush leopard print blanket this one is from tj maxx i love the pink and leopard together in case you didn't realize i know i kind of am doing that theme for valentine's day this year I'm just kind of into it right now <laughs> and my sister is too um, but anyway I wanted to add some popcorn in here my sister loves popcorn so I thought this would be perfect and I found these bags like anything I could find pink I was looking for like pink snacks and goodies that I could add in here for her so I've got that cinnamon bun popcorn I've also got another just like basic popcorn here again with the pink wrapper these little mini stroop waffles which are perfect i know she's a coffee drinker so this will be something fun she can put with coffee and then i wanted something else to match with the leopard print and i actually found like this little leopard notepad so i thought that would be perfect to stick in here as well i actually found this little candle and little um spray that smells so good oh my goodness this candle smells delicious so i had to add that in here it was just a few dollars so i decided to pop that in plus it's got that nice hot pink color and i thought she would enjoy that so i'm gonna stick that candle down in here along with just like a little simple dry shampoo and that one is actually from dollar tree this little wristlet is from dollar tree you could stick a gift card in here or some pens you could stick some planner stickers or supplies in here some gift cards some cash you you know whatever you like so many options i'm nestling more of the little pink wafers in here to go with coffee especially since this is kind of like a cozy night in snack supply basket but i also found these little peanut butter cups in tj maxx so i'm gonna add those basically i found most of these things in tj maxx the same little pink heart chocolate candies and i did find some of these here i thought these looked really interesting these are a gummy candy that i think they were like a champagne flavor or something anyway add all your fun sweets and treats and if you just keep with kind of a certain like color theme or patterns or whatever i think your basket will come together really nicely so here is how this one is coming together and then i wrapped this whole thing up in cellophane wrap and let me tell you it was a little tricky because this box is so large but then i just actually tied it up with some glitter deco mesh from dollar tree and the whole thing came together and this was just a real Really fun gift full of so many fun things to open and tasty treats. So the next one also has food. <laughs> I've got some food baskets here, but I'm just taking a little basket here from Dollar Tree. I put some of the brown paper shred in the bottom and my mom loves trail mix and all kinds of like nuts and candies and you know, all of the little trail mix snacks. So I actually picked up a variety of different kinds of nuts and some things that I know she doesn't normally buy for herself, like these dark chocolate macadamia nuts, some other like chocolate covered nuts and one of the oatmeal white chocolate chip 
um, those heavenly hunks where I did the birthday cake one before. I didn't think she would like the birthday cake one as much as maybe the oatmeal white chocolate one and they are gluten free. So I know she will appreciate that. And I just tried to kind of coordinate the colors here. So I have kind of like white, tan, brown, and kind of like a bluish teal color in here. Um, and then you could add in some sparkly florals, like a Christmas pick, a Valentine or spring floral, whatever you wanna do here. I actually gave her this one back um, at Christmas time, but I wanted to show you guys it anyway, because you could totally do this any time of year. Now, again, I wrapped this one up and just you know tied that up with cellophane wrap and wrapped it with a little bow. Now for the next one, I'm actually using a little wooden crate. You can get one in Michael's or Hobby Lobby. You know, you can get it in any craft store. I actually picked this one up in TJ Maxx. And I did go ahead and add some more of that brown paper shred down in the bottom. Now this is going to be like a food lover's gift basket, definitely for the foodie in your life. I'm going to do a taste of Italy. I think this is something that my dad is going to absolutely love and enjoy. So definitely go ahead and add in some olive oil or a balsamic vinegar or something like that. I think olive oil is great because I think it's great for, you know, whether you're dipping bread or using it in some of your cooking and recipes. And I got a lot of these items actually in TJ Maxx. So I found some handcrafted pasta from Italy and I'm gonna go ahead and add those in along with this Italian pasta sauce. I found three different varieties. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these jars. I found some Italian candies that I'm gonna go ahead and add in. I got this roasted garlic, rosemary, and sea salt spice blend. This is so random, herring fillets in tomato sauce. And this is just something that I think that my dad might enjoy. I got some pitted olives. I'm gonna go ahead and add some different unique olives in here. And then I even found some like little cookies, these little cappuccino wafers. These looked good. And he does like to have a little something sweet sometimes with coffee after dinner. I also found some pistachio truffles that honestly really were having a very hard time fitting in here, but I finally got pretty much everything to fit into this basket, which was great. And I did add in a few little red berry sprigs. You know, you could add in some faux greenery leaves or some flowers to fit with your color. You know, any kind of little fake florals. Just pick up something in Dollar Tree. It just adds, it costs like an extra dollar maybe, and it really takes your basket to a whole nother level. And I just think it looks amazing. So this was again, because this was so tall and wrapping up this whole wooden crate, it was a little bit tricky, but I basically tried to kind of angle the basket diagonally on here so that I could pull the four corners up. And then I just kind of tucked the sides into, you know, tuck the sides down inside. And I was able to actually do this despite how large this basket was as well. We managed to get this one all tied and wrapped up and I use some of the Dollar Tree ribbon here and I really love how this one turns out. The ribbon is just nice and wide and glittery, perfect for Valentine's Day, Christmas, Easter. You know, you could do a basket like this for a birthday, an anniversary, any any occasion at all this is just i need i think anyone would love to get a basket like this if you put a little bit of thought into what kind of foods that you think that they might enjoy a basket like this is just so fun you can't go wrong last but not least i wanted to do a plant lovers gift basket so for this one i'm taking a dollar tree basket they come in different colors and i think that the person you give it to could totally reuse it somewhere in their house so that is always a plus now I found these adorable little cactus themed candles. They're like little candles that are shaped like a cactus. They're super cute. I also picked up some of these little um, succulent themed notepads and stickers in Dollar Tree and I thought those would be fun as well. So I'm gonna add those along with this little stay sharp stationary kit. This is really cute as well. It comes with like a note paper and envelopes, note cards. So that's really cute. I wanna add those in. And then I found these palm leaf pajama set.
but anyway you can go ahead and add a plant in here so this i'm actually borrowing my daughter's plant here this pothos plant but i will have one linked if you're looking to purchase one of these so this is her plant because my pothos plant has literally grown to now be about four feet long and it would not fit here because i've had it for two years they are super easy to maintain they don't need much water they don't need much light and yeah they're really low maintenance so you can order one on amazon I actually just did and it just came in the mail and it's super healthy even shipping here in winter so they did a great job with that again you could add in any kind of plants or planters maybe a nice watering can or a plant mister that you could add into a gift basket for someone who loves plants thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up subscribe before you go and don't forget to click the link below so you can get a free trial of skillshare's premium membership have an amazing day and i will see you soon in the next one. Bye!